Hello and welcome back to Heavy Breakdown, which is going to surprise us all. But first, let's talk about and just like that season 2 episode 6 ending explained, which continues to set the internet on fire. Carrie Bradshaw opened the episode by setting up her laptop for the ideal Zoom interview. But when it came time to talk about her new memoir regarding the death of her late husband, Mr. Big, the interviewer instead asked what color lipstick she preferred. It's a good thing the computer literally leaped into death since it allowed her to escape that horror. The topic of Carrie's previous relationships is brought up during a girl's night out supper with Miranda Hobbs, Charlotte York Goldenblatt, and Nia Wallace. Here it is, the moment Aiden Shaw supporters have been waiting for. Carrie acknowledges that although they've had there is no contact in a while, she is aware that he's living in VA now, he separated from his wife five years ago, and he sold his home furnishings company to West Elm for a very pretty penny. Viewers will recall that Aiden last appeared in Sex and the City 2, the second installment in the franchise, in Abu Dhabi. The pair of ex-lovers shared a passionate kiss, which instantly caused Carrie to feel bad and notify Mr. Big. He responded in the greatest way possible by giving her a black diamond ring, which helped him get past the situation. But now that Big's passing has been over a year ago, Carrie is thinking about Aiden and composes an email to her ex-fiancé that begins, Hey Stranger. She writes in the email that she was considering him and was curious how he was faring. Even though she first chooses not to transmit it, it is obvious that something will happen later. After trudging through the weather in the most amazing puffer coat ever, Carrie makes a good impression at Widow Con, where she reads a passage from her book. As the show comes to a close, she writes in Aiden's letter, and just like that, I realize that certain relationships were meant to remain in the past while others aren't, and finds the motivation to go on. Lily, Charlotte's daughter, reveals she intends to give her boyfriend her virginity in the meanwhile. For a quick recap, Carrie's previous marriage to Mr. Big failed when Lily stole her phone. Carrie wasn't at home when Mr. Big had a heart attack due to Lily's piano recital. Finally, Lily sends her poor mother outside to buy condoms in the middle of a bomb cyclone so she may lose her virginity. Furthermore, we couldn't help but question if Lily truly serves as the SATC franchise's antagonist. Miranda is still battling with her estranged wedding to Steve Brady and her uneasy romance with non-binary comic Chi Diaz in a far less amusing subplot. The failure of their pilot has Chi in a deep depression, and Miranda is attempting to cheer them up. Miranda, however, is enraged when Chi activates the charm to send cameo messages but is unable to produce anything for her. Miranda is about to leave when Chi snaps, I regret that but I'm not climbing out of my deep state of depression fast enough for you. Oh, I see you're departing. I have yet another reason to feel sorry for you. Chi concurs with Miranda's assertion that she isn't deserving to be treated this way. Finally, some of the old fightings the former attorney was known for is starting to show. But it doesn't appear that Steve will actually move after making the vow to do so. When Miranda questions him about it, Steve snaps and claims that, despite what the deed claims, he actually owns this Brooklyn apartment. Miranda is reminded by him that she never intended to live in Brooklyn, has never desired him, and has even denied having ever wanted Brady. Steve urges Miranda to stay as she sobs naturally upon being reminded of her previous intention to have an abortion. The exact same scene that was portrayed in the first Sex and the City film when Miranda found out that Steve had an affair is now cut to Miranda and Steve lying in bed together. I'm sorry I damaged you so much. I wish I could do anything to aid in our progress past this. Before spotting a used condom wrapper on the mattress table, Miranda utters. She becomes instantly relieved of her guilt over their breakup when she learns that Steve had been having sex in their bed with a younger lady. It looks like you've been fucking someone in our bed. And don't worry about me, I won't be sobbing on the subway tonight, Miranda assures, adding, you appreciate your locally sourced, Steve. Miranda goes over to Cheese Place and remarks, we should have definitely split up earlier while we had still a chance to be friends. That's kind of exactly what I've been thinking about both of us, she responds through tears. The situation is probably not going to improve from where we are right now. Whatever will Miranda do once she gets a Chi hunger, we can't help but wonder. The next scene shows Chi and Miranda sleeping in bed in the same posture as she continues, two back-to-back -back breakups. Here, I'm killing it. Although their relationship was contentious in the SATC fan community, Miranda's recent status as a single woman is quite unexpected. We will undoubtedly be watching with bated breath to see what happens next with the potential appearance of Aiden in the future and the assurance of a Samantha Jones cameo. Unrelated observations. Although I don't particularly care for Lily, the fact that she has a well-thought-out strategy for losing her virginity is totally in line with her type of personality. In this episode, what was Seema required to do? Her and Carrie renting a home together in the Hamptons for the summer is just a running joke. I'm pleading with the authors to give Sarita Chowdhury more to do than serve as Carrie's much cooler psychic because she steals every scene she's in. The party coordinator Carrie must cooperate with for Widow Khan is a former writing partner of hers, and Rachel Dretch portrays her. 
Although I adore Dratch, her sense of humor very oddly contrasts with Sarah Jessica Parker's. Her time was being wasted, I thought. Lisa refers to unsung sheroes in her address, but I don't think Lisa is hip enough to use that phrase. At dinner, Naya, Miranda, Charlotte, and Carrie start talking about their ex-partners. This provides Miranda the chance to complain about Steve, Naya the chance to describe the complex interaction with Andre, Charlotte the chance to bring up Trey, and Carrie the chance to give us some background information on Aiden. His five-year divorce was discovered through her online research. And the episode concludes with Carrie emailing Aiden. See you eventually on another engrossing review. I hope the video is enjoyable. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.